things that people always bring up. Yo, let's okay, okay. Believe women, especially black women, and I agree with that. We believe women and black. I mean, it doesn't women, seem right? like you agree with that that much. <laughs> At least right now, come on. Right. <laughs> oh, no, I do. Okay, but here's the thing. So if I'm believing Meg the Stallion, she first told me I stepped on glass. Oh, I believe you. You stepped on glass. Then she says, "No, I didn't." <laughs> One of your mods <laughs> banned me from the chat. <laughs> no, did they? Yeah. <laughs> I know you hate this guy, but yo, could could you could, could we bring my man Myron in? He's he's been following this case with me the whole time, and he's been very in tune with all the. the um, sure, if you want to, if you want to bring him in, we can have that conversation with him as well. Wait, wait, how do I? I don't know how to add people, brother. Hold on, let me see. Uh, okay, I did a group thingy. How do I get? How, do I, how does this work? What's up? You need backup? I thought we were having a normal conversation. No, because well, we're going over facts and also narrative. Now you're you know bringing I mean? the Fed involved? God damn, dude! Us, yo, Hassan, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, is, he, is he not? Is he not a? Is he not a Fed? I thought he was, but Hassan, you know you're virtually signaling crazy. Yo, I'm Bro, with you on. Oh, oh, come on, on. that's a, that's an exit ramp for you. They say oh. virtue signaling. It's just like, oh, you no, care about not, women so not, much. You're no, virtue signaling. Not, like, no, I'm just looking at the situation. Like, someone no, got this, shot. This they said. Someone this got shot. Crazy. They said this person shot me. I'm like, okay, it seems like that could be true. This would be a crazy conversation, right? Um, hold on. What's going on? Hello? Anyway, okay. Yo, here's the point I'm trying to say. You hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Okay, okay. Here's the point I'm trying to say, brother. <sighs> no, it would be different if I was sitting here like fucking punching in the air. Like, I'm not accepting the fucking verdict. I am. It's accepted. All I'm trying to say yeah, to but you. you keep, but you keep saying I'm also virtue signaling. I'm in the wrong, all this other stuff. You know what I mean? Like, You're throwing these things in the air to say, well, why didn't you know that he was guilty from the get-go? And I'm like. No, 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 no. I said, okay. I said. When someone is shot, regardless of whether they're a man or a woman, okay, and they survive the shooting and they turn around and say, this person shot me, I'm not immediately going to be like, ah, I don't know. I, don't, I feel like they're lying. Like, what the fuck? She got bullet, she got bullet fragments in her feet. Hey, hold on. I, I didn't say she didn't get shot. I don't know by who. <laughs> okay, I, I understand. But the person, but you're, you're not hearing oh. me. I'm saying she got hey, shot. And she yes. said, this person shot me. Okay. Okay, and then she said, I did not see him. My back was turned. No, she also said she did see him. She literally turned her neck around in her testimony enough to be able to see who was shooting at her. Okay, okay. All right. She also so, said the, the dance bitch line, too. Nobody, even her best friend, never even heard that line. Nobody. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Because her best friend also, literally, the more important part of this conversation is her best friend also originally in the actual testimony, the 911 calls, in every single circumstance, said that it was Tory Lanez who shot Megan the Stallion. Tory Lanez also apologized to every single person involved. Now, he's Canadian, so maybe that's the reason why he apologized. Canadians love apologizing. But ultimately, it does seem a little suspicious when everyone is saying that everyone involved originally in the immediate aftermath, is saying this person shot this person, okay? So, all right, okay, so, so as it relates to that, let me ask you this question. So right? why do you think Kelsey said Tory Lane shot Megan Thee Stallion and then pled the fifth this time around uh, a year later? Well, right, okay, so why do you think that when, listen, she said that when she wasn't under oath. Why do you think when she was under oath, she said, I never saw Tory shoot anyone or saw Tory with the gun? You're, you're using when she's not under oath. I'm using when she could actually be charged with perjury. So who got the upper hand here? Wait. So you think, so you're saying she lied to the, you're suspecting that she lied originally to the prosecutors, well, not the prosecutors, but the, but the investigators. Well, it was actually the prosecutors because they only did that. That interview that we're talking about was done in September. Directly okay. to the problem. So it, do, you can't, you can't do that though. That's still oh, you still oh, can't way, lie to the you still can't lie to the prosecutors in that regard. Said, hey, you guys made me feel uncomfortable. Like that's See, still illegal. She was hinting towards 
Hey, I was under duress. Okay, but she also said Tory Lane shot Megan the Stallion. So you're like you're you're desperately grabbing I, on to her hinting at things while simultaneously completely writing off all the shit that she did say. So so you're telling me that you are going to take the the um interview over the phone, right? Way more serious than her testimony under oath in person in court. Also, she never said she doesn't know. I'm pretty sure she said that she's pleading the fifth and that she didn't want to answer. No, no, no. She pled the fifth anytime it was it was a conversation about how did you guys was there a fight before um the shots were fired? And she said what I believe the driver's gonna say. Hey, I never saw Tori with the gun. This is what she said, definitely, hundred percent. I never saw Tori with a gun, and I never seen him fire the shot. Wait. And then at first she said, I was unsure that he was shot, but later I realized she was shot. Okay, this is precisely the reason why I asked you what your speculation is, because like I need to understand like what you thought happened, because I gave you what I think happened, right? Like there was a scuffle, there was an altercation, right? And then like Tory Lanez popped off, has a short fuse, didn't actually intend to fucking shoot Megan Thee Stallion, accidentally did, you know? Little guy, big gun for him at least, you know, hard to fucking control. And he's drunk. So so then so then what is your what is your take? Like, do you think there's a third shooter? Are we talking like JFK Grassy Knoll situation? Like what the fuck happened then? Was it Kelsey who shot Megan the Stallion then? Is that what you think? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, this is why I went into the whole thing by saying, Are we here to find out? I said we won't find out who actually did it. Right, we're only Bro, but, gonna find okay, but it. come on, you you are you are making okay, a lot of inferences. Right. Like, don't escape that. I'll tell you my narrative. My narrative is this. <clears throat> okay, they're at this party with Kylie. At the party, I believe that you know, um, Meg, who was messing around with Tori behind her best friend's back, because the first person. And by the way, it does matter. I'm not trying to slut shamer, but it does matter who was having sex with who. Tori was having sex earlier in the year with Kelsey. She catches COVID. She goes back home. He starts messing around with um, um, Meg. Kelsey comes back into the picture, and at one of the most and first public events they're at together, they're at Kylie's house. Okay? They were drinking before Tori gets there. Tori gets there. He's trying to game up Kylie. Meg feels a little bit type of way because number one, that's disrespectful. I invited you somewhere, and we're, now we you're are. To by the way, we're still not at the at the events that took place. Okay, but oh. you're you're building backstory. Fine, you're it, saying it's not like victim so, blaming or slut shaming. So, it's just wait, it's important. You have, to, you have to build it because if you think that somebody, if I diss you as a streamer, would you shoot me, brother? If I say you're the worst streamer on the platform, would you shoot me? No, of course not. But I'm not Tory Lanes. You know what I mean. <laughs> Oh my! It's also Tori is just like this degenerate guy who's not. I mean, like, I, I I think I think that I yeah I think that he uh, I think that he is not necessarily degenerate, but he definitely does have a like I said short fuse, very insecure, short fuse, drunk, has a gun around. That's what happens. This short happens fuse. all the fucking time to less yeah. famous people. And okay, it's not, no, hold on. Short fuse and shooting a woman is like, come on, bro. We, are we gonna act like there's no levels of separation, dog? Come I mean, on. I know, but like, then, then we we come to the other side of the altercation where you are easily believing without any evidence whatsoever. Not a single person has said that this is the case. Okay, what? you believe what? that what? Kelsey has a short enough fuse to fucking shoot Megan the Stallion, but Tory Lanez doesn't. So that's why I'm like a little confused about where you are trying to go with this conversation. Oh, no. Unless there right. was so, a third shooter with a sniper no, no. rifle, okay? No, let me get You're, it's let me either get Kelsey who shot Megan or Tory no. who shot no, Megan. You see, in, in your story, hey, you suck at music. Boom, 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 boom. I say complete cap. I'm getting to it. I'm going to spill the story. So there's a bunch of jealousy going on. The women are arguing, but they're also arguing with Tori, which also is in line with what pretty much um, Meg even said on um, um, that Gail King interview. All three of them are arguing. Um, Kylie kicks them out. You have all three women argue, or you have two women and, and, and Tori arguing, okay? Uh -huh. And then I got to use Sean Kelly's testimony. Uh -huh. The car pulls over, and Meg hops out and starts to assault Kelsey. Sean Kelly said it. 
She was kicking her for several. Sean Kelly, who was sleeping at this point, right? Okay. Uh, listen, are we gonna we just gonna throw out his testimony because he doesn't agree? I mean, or he has or, or, no, but I would I would be a little you know. I would be a little uh, questioning it a little bit, right? Like a little bit of skepticism is necessary here because like, why the fuck was he up watching uh, the street randomly in the middle of the fucking night oh, fuck. versus Even he woke up the you, gunshots. That's a, so such a massive inconsistency and, and, and you know, Even common sense probably favors one side that he did wake up the gunshots, which was her, which was his original no. testimony to Johnny, you're like pigeonholed on him. There was an altercation. Even if you didn't believe that he saw it, okay. So, are you gonna then say, um, are you gonna then say that, um, uh, 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 um, um, the the hair missing, um, the pendant, the ring or the nail broken from Kelsey was not due to any type of assault? No, I Kelsey do think I do think Kelsey got assaulted. I think Tory Lanes and Kelsey had a scuffle afterwards. That was the other piece of the evidence. She said it didn't happen. She said he never put hands on me. You're saying T Kelsey way, said Tory Lanez never put hands on Kelsey. Is that what you said? Yes. And by the way, if she had said that, any respectable district attorney, if, if you were told by a woman that Tory, before going into a complete, like, like school shooter rage, beat the brakes off you, they would have charged him for an additional count of assault. He's not charged for that. Where do so you if, wait? Hold on. Where do you? Where, well, I mean, the the case was, you know, the case was about Tory Lanez uh, using a gun on Megan The Stallion. I get what you're saying. Where do you think that came from? Where do you where do you think the where do you think that suggestion came from? Then, what do you mean? Like, where did where what, did the Megan, Tory Lanez Megan. and Kelsey uh, uh, fighting? Like, what what do you think happened there? Meg the Stallion says she's seen a bump. And then uh, um, in the opening statements, which supposedly I guess Kelsey was supposed to attest to, when Tori let off the shots and was approaching Meg, Kelsey intercepted, and then supposedly Meg, no, not Meg, I mean uh, Tori, he beat down Kelsey on his way to Meg, which Kelsey said that never happened. So... Why do you think Tory Lane? So why did Tory Lane's apologize to Kelsey then? I'll tell you why. Yeah. You want me to tell you why? Yeah, I would love to. Oh, I would love to hear your perspective on this, that. This is, this is only a theory. Uh, you know, clearly. No, I mean, is, look, I want to hear your theories. I, and we're I talking there. Okay, I would believe. Hey, if you've been fucking both of the girls, and then you started to try to fuck another girl, or you were trying to kick game to another girl in front of both of them. They're starting to fight because of it. The fight is escalating, and apparently you throw it in both of their faces that you're having sex with them. Yes, they throw you under the bus and say, hey, you're a shit musician, blah, blah, blah. But if you didn't make it a scene among these two friends that now they're fighting themselves and even trying to fight you, <laughs> that <laughs> seems like... He seems like a good guy. He seems like a really good guy. He just, you know, had both of these women's best interests at heart. That's why he apologized. And the character. I'm just saying, <laughs> as a man. I mean, it's it, crazy it, because, like, one person shot Megan the Stallion, right? Like, so he's apologizing to the person who shot Megan the Stallion because that's fucking wild. If he's both apologizing to Megan the Stallion and also apologizing to the woman who shot Megan the Stallion, being like, "I'm so sorry that, like, you know, things got out of hand and you shot Megan the Stallion." I'm I'm sorry. That, that if that's believable to you, then I don't know what to tell you. Like, because it, it does seem like him apologizing to all parties involved, including the fucking bodyguard that wasn't there, kind of makes it seem like he might have been if, responsible. Because like, if, if saying that I'm apologizing for what may have escalated the situation for this to happen, it doesn't necessarily mean to me that he's apologizing for shooting. Unless you're just drastically different. Because uh, the, the original testimony from Kelsey, ex-friend Kelsey Harris, uh, absolutely said Tory Lanez fired a gun at Megan. Uh, that's what she told the police back in September. And um, on top of that, uh, you know, she said she was hesitant to give details now, right? Even though the interview was played in its entirety. Um, 
there was also, I believe, hold on. Uh, Kelsey says she started her hearing gunshots after the second or third shot. She turned around and says she saw Tori on the front seat firing the gun forward over the open right front door in Megan's direction. Um, Kelsey was outside the vehicle but behind Tori and could only see Meg from the chest up. She ran towards Megan in defense mode and saw her bleeding. This is her testimony. And Tori was still sitting in the front seat, apparently in shock. She claims Tori walked toward them, and that's when Kelsey and Tori started fighting. This is her, this is Kelsey's testimony. She describes it as Tori assaulting her and adds that she did not see the gun at that point. Once they all got back in the SUV, Kelsey says she texted Megan Security 911, Tori shot Meg. That's the interview. That's not a testimony. That's the interview. Yeah, but but like that is literally in, that is profoundly oh, important. That, oh, yeah. That's her account that literally played a significant role in launching a criminal investigation. But no. hold on. Uh, again, again, are we arguing what we think happened, or we're we arguing what should be proven in court? If someone says I lied, like okay, you can play the statement all you want, but I lied. I'm telling you the truth now. Is that person credible? Yes or no? Wait, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Okay, you're going off what Kelsey said in September, but she mm -hmm. literally showed up and said, I lied. I lied. She's saying, I lied then, and I'm under oath now, and I lied. So I told you, I'm, I, I'm telling you I lied then. What's up? Are you going to say, okay, we're going to just ignore the fact you're telling us you're lying? I don't we're think, she never say, said she lied, by the way. I mean, she, she did lie. She said, she said she lied on her testimony. She said she lied to where, did, where did she say she lied on her testimony? She just said she can't remember, which is inconsistent for sure because it was very clear when she was offering uh, evidence to, uh, to launch this criminal investigation. But um, I, I don't think she ever said, I lied. Um, she just said, I can't recall. Yo, Ak, Myron's here. We just joined in. Um, are you guys talking about Meg the Stein right now or are you guys talking about Kelsey? In particular, um, we literally just joined. We're, we're, we're talking about Kelsey's um statement. He's okay. using the one from September. I'm using the fact that she got on the stand and said, "Fuck that! I did not tell the truth." Wait, I she will. never. Wait, whoa, whoa. no, 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 no. You can't. You can't embellish in this circumstance because this is pretty important. She okay. never got on the stand and said, "I <laughs> fucking lied." That's crazy. Yes, she did. She got on. This, no, these are the. These are the facts. This okay, is what no, 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 no. Before you say these are the facts, I want to. I want you to actually show me the facts, and not Milagro Grams, who has been proven time and time again that she was, you know. Uh, okay, Mo, Mo Gagnat, who was there in person, who watched it, who is a lawyer himself. He literally said she took the stand. First thing she did was take the Fifth Amendment. You cannot take the Fifth Amendment unless you might be criminally culpable for a crime. Then they said, "Listen, we'll give you immunity if you testify." Wait, what? No, you can you can still t you can plead the fifth regardless. Like you can just refuse yeah. to testify. Hassan, I, I hate to say this to you, bro, but I used to investigate criminal activity. I no, used to I, I, I know, I know you're a fed. I know, I've I've seen so, it. I've seen you I, talking I about it. So I'm telling you, you cannot take the Fifth Amendment, okay? <laughs> unless you're criminally culpable. That is why Gunna is not protected if they call him to testify. He Wait, has what? no. To you can definitely say I plead the fifth. It doesn't matter if you're like criminally culpable or not. You can still refuse to testify, even if it's a it. judge will rule it. You're not compelled to testify, right? If you don't have a fifth, a fifth Amendment privilege. No, it's literally it's a right. You can just say that you are pleading the fifth, regardless of whether it's because you're incriminating yourself or not. You can only take the fifth. If you might incriminate yourself, you cannot take the fifth any, in any other circumstance. You are compelled to testify. No, you can still, no, you, you definitely still can in any circumstance plead the fifth. It doesn't matter what the truth is. What? So you can just I, randomly I, just plead the fifth? No, you can I, I plead you the were, fifth, yeah. even if you're not, even if you're not, even if you, that doesn't at immediately mean that you are self-incriminating. If that was the case, then that could be used as additional evidence. Like you guys are trying to do right now, but that's not the case. I know She's that like in, in, in colloquial, in like the, the, you know, in, in normie speak, we always assume when you plead the fifth, oh, that means they're guilty. Like they're incriminating themselves. That's what we say, but that's not the case. You can plead the fifth, even if you are not actually incriminating yourself. That's kind of the point of being able to plead the fifth and, and not having it be used against you as evidence.
let's use your let's use your logic then, Hassan. If that was the case, why did her lawyer fight tooth and nail to get her immunity? Ooh. I, exactly. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I, I'll, read, I'll, read, I'll read from um, this is the 14th of December. So this is Tory Lanez and Megan Trial Day 3. Kelsey takes a stand. She admits to lying to prosecutors about everything she told No, you're September. reading No Jumper right now, who literally, by your accounts, got fucking got, DJ Academics. They got fucking got, they jumped the oh, gun and literally posted about the the so the the verdict all. coming in before the verdict had actually come in you can't just use their one-sided assessment of the events that took place you originally went to megan kuniff i'm watching your stream right now you couldn't right. find the actual thing that you wanted out of her so you went to find the no jumper tweet if you give me megan kuniff's test of uh megan kuniff's uh, uh you know actual court reporting then we can have a conversation i got it it's like it's like you citing yourself. Come on. Hassan, you're missing the point here that Kelsey, right, changed her story. She went in and did an interview with with actually the prosecutors, not even law enforcement, which is another big red flag. But she went ahead and Wait, did what, an interview. That, what, what's the red flag? I, I couldn't hear you. Sorry. The red flag is she did an interview with the prosecutors with no law enforcement there, which is a huge red flag because prosecutors are not supposed to be direct witnesses and witness testimony when you're doing a criminal investigation there's supposed to be an investigator there and the reason why there wasn't an investigator there is because the lead detective stogner right Wait, he has no you issues. can you can definitely have prosecutors directly uh question uh witnesses wait what what no, you need an investigator there they can't be the only witnesses because they're the ones prosecuting the case. It's a conflict of interest. You need a sworn law enforcement officer there but conducting. Pro most of the prosecutors are literally law enforcement officers, pretty much functionally. So I, I don't know. Like you're making it seem like they're operating on different teams here. Yes, I mean, they do work together. However, you need an agent, a detective, some type of police presence there to do the investigation and to do the interviews, bro. Wait, I, I got. Can I just address something really quickly? I love chat being like, "No black voices." Hassan didn't want a black voice in that circumstance, bro. No jumper. Adam Twenty Two's operation. We're calling that a, a, a black voices now. Really, Halo Boom? Is that what you're saying in the chat? Dumbass. Shut the fuck up. Meme well, rapper. And the point I'm trying to make is there's Wanna problems. Want to be meme rapper, motherfucker? Okay, sorry, go on. There's problems with Kelsey's situation because, number one, she was interviewed by prosecutors only. There wasn't an investigator there, which is a problem in itself. And then second, she switched her story up. She said, hey, Tori did X, Y, Z and, you know, made him criminally culpable. And then when she came in to testify, she immediately took the fifth. And then her defense attorney said, we need immunity. They tried to get... Um, uh, they try to get immunity where she would be covered all the way, but they were only able to get use immunity because obviously to get transactional immunity, which would be her protected all the way, that is very difficult to get. You would need a DA signature to get that. And obviously they're in the middle of trial. They don't have time to go back to the DA saying, yo, we need the signature. So we're like, listen, we'll give her use immunity. We're on the record. We're not going to prosecute her. That's when she felt comfortable to go ahead and testify after that pretty much. So if she wasn't culpable, why would she fight so hard? Why would her defense attorney fight so hard to get her use immunity, bro? You can only take the fifth, right? You can ask any attorney this. Any defense attorney will tell you this. You can only take the fifth when you might be giving testimony might, that might incriminate yourself. But if, you, if you're not necessarily giving testimony that's going to incriminate yourself and other people, then you're compelled to testify. That is why Gunna cannot assert the Fifth Amendment privilege if they call him to testify in the YSL trial. Uh -huh. Young Doug will tell you they're going to call Gunna on and he cannot claim Fifth Amendment. He will, he will have to testify. That is a part of his plea deal. Okay. So... I can't speak on why she wanted to, uh, why she no longer wanted to offer her testimony, okay? Um, she did get granted immunity, I'm pretty sure. Not the, not the full-blown immunity if she was like to go up on that stand and be like, I actually fucking, uh, I actually shot someone. I, I was the one who shot, uh, you know, Megan Thee Stallion. Well, then all that. of a sudden your case falls apart. Of course, a prosecutor is not going to fucking do that because someone could very easily fall out of favor with the victim like Kelsey and Megan did and then turn around and be like, you know what, actually, I'm the one who shot it, but guess what? You guys gave me the fucking immunity. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's ridiculous. Well, she could have went on the stand and said that, though, because they gave her use immunity, which means her testimony that was given in that circumstance could not be used against her. However, that does not mean that law yeah, enforcement... And yet she still, and yet she still didn't <laughs> offer inconsistencies. She could have very easily said, I am here to tell my truth. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened 
and and I was wrong originally. She didn't even say that. Yeah, because she because she knew before she was lying. Uh, she no, but, she got but, but she got immunity. But you just explained that she got immunity from the original lie that she had told. If you're claiming that she originally lied, yes, yeah, she originally lied, and she didn't want to give testimony. So because you're you're admitting that she would not have been liable under perjury in that regard because she had gotten immunity to offer her true testimony in that circumstance. No, um, what I'm saying is that she could have been found. There's a bunch of things that they could have hit her with. There's a bunch of charges she could have got hit with. Like what? Like which is okay. why, like I, shooting, I gotta, shooting gotta, uh, Megan Thee Stallion. You don't trust no jumper. I got my man. I think I think he writes uh, L.A. Times. James Queeley. This is this is uh, Kelsey on the stand. Our interview that they were trying to refresh her memory many times with. She says our interview was not a hundred percent truthful. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Does that make you feel good, brother? <laughs> you said, I'm no, not that, telling the truth. You said yeah. whatever you're saying, I did not tell the truth. She basically said it and referred to it and kept almost looking at her lawyer to say, hey, if I answer this, am I getting fucked up legally? And they did many sidebars. That's just the reality of it. Yeah, her, it. her, interview, her interview not being 100% truthful, especially when there's additional circumstances involved in there, like whether or not, I, actually, I'm not familiar if she got uh, asked the question about the million dollars that like uh, Tory Lanez get offered them or something like that. Um, yeah, but there are plenty of there are plenty of additional instances in that interview. You you are the one who's inferring the parts that you believe is not truthful from that interview, and she still absolutely ended up getting. Just read the rest of that. What is the what's the rest of the quote? We're not trusting no jumper. We definitely trust the L.A. Times. Yeah, of course I trust the L.A. Times, and I trust court reporters. And you yourself admitted that no jumper got got. So if no jumper got got, and fucking literally. Okay, okay. Forget no jumper. Harris says she struggled with postpartum depression, depression and a recent death in the family, and her mind isn't here right now. She also denied Lanes offered her hush money, which Megan alleged he did to the tune of a million dollars. Yeah, she the denied- exact quote from her, by the way, wasn't an immediate denial. She literally oh. said it wasn't exactly the way that that was presented. I know, I know what I'm talking about because I know what quote that was. The reason why we're bringing this up, by the way, is because she has postpartum depression now. She has a recent death in the family now. If anything, her evidence or her additional information that she's going to offer currently now and not back then is going to be less conclusive. Wait, wait, what about this one? Critically, she wouldn't confirm she saw Lanes with the gun, which she said in the recorded interview, or that Lanes threatened to shoot her. She won't confirm it in court. She's she like, wouldn't. Co- yeah, her. that doesn't. Wait, what do you mean? They, that doesn't mean anything. Up. She already had. She's, hold on, you keep you keep referencing. Yes, the she interview, literally right? said the yes interview, because. She, we in know you and I both no, know I, you and I both know she went on the stand and said, I can't recall anything. I can't recall anything. I have postpartum. I'm depressed. I can't recall anything is basically what she said. And then she pled the fifth. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean that she fucking absolutely lied. That's the reason why they played the whole interview in a court of law. If a if if, if any type of witness or victim can't recall their statements and can't even affirm to it. Right. Keep in mind. She's now under oath. She already acted weird with the, hey, I needed like immunity of the center. She can't co-sign the majority of what she said in a goddamn interview, right? You think that the jury should be like, okay, let's just believe her. Really? Come on, brother. Well, first of all, the jury did believe her, ultimately. The jury believed Megan the Stallion, who also is a they witness in this circumstance. Her. The jury also believed what she said originally, which is important, important to address in this circumstance. And the jury, of course, did not take into consideration that she pled the fifth, especially because she had the opportunity, given an immunity, to go back and correct the record and refuse to do so while simultaneously admitting that currently, right now, in this very moment, was not likely to give a clear-cut version of the events considering her postpartum depression and a, near, uh, and a recent death in the family. That's what I'm stating. That's the reason why the jury deliberated in the way that it did. Oh, hold on. Yeah, but you're missing the point here, Hassan. The, the, see, here's the thing. Tory gets that Fifth Amendment privilege to not testify and not being it used against him. Kelsey does not. 
Kelsey's a witness in the case. She's not the one on trial. Okay, but so yeah, if, I know, but you can still you can still say some dumb shit or potentially think that you're incriminating yourself or ultimately say you're you Please, have the right to plead the fifth. Regardless. Please, you have the right to plead the fifth regardless of whether or not you're actually incriminating yourself or not. You just have that right. That is a right that you have. You're just rambling, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, Tori gets the privilege of them not being able to judge him for taking the fifth. Kelsey does not because the Tory, Tory is the one that is accused. Okay? That is the reason why. So when K Kelsey doesn't get that same Fifth Amendment privilege to that level as Tory because he's the one that's actually being charged in a criminal case, in a criminal court of law in the United States. So Kelsey doesn't get that, which is why she was like, I need immunity if I'm going to talk. Okay. Because she is come to testify. That Look. is why she asked for immunity in the first place. Look. Go ahead. You, you said that you have to be guilty to plead the fifth that is not the case you Just don't have to be record. guilty you yeah, have you, to or, be or essentially you, liable right from a criminal standpoint to invoke the fifth amendment yes an innocent and, witness may validly no. claim the fifth amendment privilege against self-incrimination if you are an innocent witness you can still plead the fifth that is precisely the reason why we look at pleading the fifth as a right that people have and not as an indication that that person is somehow criminally liable, which is what you guys are doing right now. Okay. That you can the entire, the entire concept behind pleading the fifth would be null and void. If we automatically assume that that person is fucking guilty every time they pled the fifth. No, no. Pleading the fifth isn't an implication no. of guilt. However, if you, but you if, are, if you, you are making it seem as zero. though it is. No no, 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 no. Well, I mean, one could take it as that, but if you have zero conflict with what's being asked of you when you're either subpoenaed and you're on the stand, you got to answer. You can't just magically say, I plead the fifth. And then say the judge says to you or you and your attorney, hey, okay, let's figure out why you're pleading the fifth. And you're like, no, just because I want to. They're not going to just be like, okay, you, you got it. Here, like, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the Supreme Court decision that that the justice is made on this regard because like people do plead the fifth sometimes when they're innocent or they might be afraid okay oh, of one reason or the other it's normal the criminal justice system is fucking ruthless right um in the 2001 supreme court case the justice noted that the right against self-incrimination provided by the fifth amendment in ohio versus reiner the court case that i was telling you about earlier okay that the fifth amendment protects the innocent as well as the guilty the court added that a witness may have a reasonable fear of prosecution and yet be innocent of any wrongdoing. The ruling noted that innocent people might be ensnared by ambiguous circumstances. So her right to plead the fifth in this circumstance was given to her and was protected by the Supreme Court specifically for situations exactly like the one that she was entangled in where okay, okay. she could oh, have very, very easily very been definition. fearful she could have very no. easily been fearful that she might be so, so, and fearful of prosecution now granted now yes. granted she, oh, okay she committed crimes <laughs> Wait, she no, 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 but you're, but you're still doing that. But you're, but remember, you're still doing that. You're still claiming that she is, she is guilty because she pled the fifth. If, if you're, if you're, if you're saying, but you are a Fed, so I, I'm not surprised that you think that. But anyway, let's go on. Let's move on. Wait, if you're saying she's fearful of prosecution, right? You're literally alluding to the fact that maybe something that she did or could say would be in some realm of maybe being able to uh, um either the 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 DA could pick up a charge on right we're not saying it, yeah it doesn't even matter though it doesn't matter because what matters is what she felt in that moment if she feels like she could be ensnared for any reason whatsoever she has the constitutional right to be able to plead the fifth in that regard that's it and that's what she did she exercised it Hassan, do you not see that she was the prosecution star witness and that is problematic? <laughs> problematic? I mean, opening, I, and opening I, do feel, I do feel like the star witness was probably the person who survived getting shot, but, you know, she was a witness, yes. She was one of the big witnesses in that regard. Yeah, but here's the thing. That's Meg, Meg is obviously the victim, so that's going to be a witness in itself, but I'm talking about <laughs> the prosecution star witness from a, how do I say this, from an unbiased standpoint, according to them, was Kelsey. And, 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 and they would have been the only person to allegedly <laughs> well, Yeah, when you get shot, you are a little biased. That's true. But, you know, 
you would probably be biased against the person who shot you. In this case, if you claim that it is Kelsey, then she should probably be biased towards her, right? What? No. What I'm saying is that the prosecution in opening statements used Kelsey and said, Kelsey's going to come in here and weave together all our evidence. They were relying heavily upon what? A jail call, a text message, okay? And then also Kelsey's testimony. That's what they were weighing heavily on. And then for everything to make sense and come together, they needed Kelsey's testimony. So when she gets on the stand and takes the Fifth Amendment as the prosecution's main witness, mind you, that is problematic. Well, she, like I said, originally did uh, allow this entire thing to come together with her testimony. Um, the text messages are also pretty damning, too, like uh, saying 911, Tori shot her, Tori shot Megan. Why do you think she why do you think she texted that and then also uh gave corroborating evidence to that and and we're hyper focusing on like her pleading the fifth, which is her constitutional right to do so for any reason. You know what I mean? Like she could just do that, which she did. She exercised that. But we just refuse to think about why she texted that. We don't think about why Tori apologized to every party involved. Um, we're, we're not looking at any of those, uh, any of those instances and only hyper-focusing on instances that you can draw reasonable doubt out of, like you're working for the defense team. You're making an inference that the apology is for the shooting while you're definitely absolving, um, the reason why she would say, I'm not taking a stand period, unless as soon as she got on the stand, she said, I'm pleading the fifth. It's not that she was asked anything as soon as she got there. But so you want to make the inference that the apology from Tory, which was innocuous, honestly, didn't say what he's apologizing for. Say I'm sorry. That's all he said. But you're you're you're, you're saying that's for the truth. What do you what but do you think? So her, wait, you you think he's apologizing because like an altercation happened where like Kelsey shot Megan, right? That's what you were claiming. Like you yeah, think that's a normal thing to apologize for? Hassan, Hassan, he's the person who was added the to the whole situation. For the shooting. Because, like, look, if, if I was involved in a situation, in a love triangle, as you claim, right, and and the girl that was with me shot the other girl, I would not text, like, I'm sorry to everyone involved. I'd be like, that was crazy. Remember when that bitch shot you? That was wild, right? Like, that's what I would text. I think that's, that's what normal crazy. humans would text in that situation. Hassan, Hassan, you're operating on 2020 hindsight. You got to remember, these are women. They're emotional. They're drunk. It's late <laughs> at night. They just... Get, trying to go ahead and get with Kylie Jenner. I'm gonna, be honest, I'm gonna be honest. I think Tory Lanez was very emotional. I think you like you can say that. You can say that. That's fine. But my point he was is drunk this. too and emotional. And when he right, shot Megan, Kelsey, right? He exposes Meg the Stein for having sex with men that she had originally hooked up with Kelsey. So that is how the argument ensued. So we don't know definitively if he was apologizing for shooting. or... Or for putting out, Megan's I know, but don't you think that that's like a much bigger thing that you would mention? You'd be like, "That was crazy when Kelsey shot you, right?" Because only one person said that would be one foolish to do that. Shot another person. I mean, he's not like he's not going to sit there and be like, "Yo, that was crazy that Kelsey shot you." No, he's going to say, "Yo, I'm." Just, if he apologizes, really, you wouldn't. So you you're in a situation. You're in a love triangle. You get a lot of women, right? I I, I feel like, or you must. You, you talk about it all the time. You're in a love triangle. It happens all the time. One of the girls shoots the other girl. You're gonna be like, "I'm sorry that 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 yeah, that's yeah, what that's how it happened." You wouldn't be like, "How fucking insane was that 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 this crazy uh, bitch shot you?" Conversations that he had women, am I right? That's probably what you would say, right? That's women, okay. emotional. Conversations he had. He's in custody and he's been recorded over the jail phone. So why, why do you think? He say? No, but you why do you think? Why do you think Kelsey texted nine one one? Tory shot Meg. So, so now you're moving off the argument. If we're, no, we no, no. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I legitimately want to know, why do you think Kelsey originally texted that? If you can see this point, because you're saying what the text from him should be, I'm telling you why it's not like that. He's No, no, no. But tell me that. Tell me that. Tell me that. Just, I want to know what you mean. Why okay. do you think Kelsey texted 911, Tory shot Meg? Oh, so by, by us moving to this, I'm going to answer it. I, I'm feeling like you're conceding that other point. Because what you're saying would be idiotic if you know you're calling off of a jail phone to say, <laughs> hey, isn't it crazy when you got shot by so-and-so? You might as well give a fucking statement. Okay, if you're not that, that because okay, so, you, so you think Tory was protecting right. Kelsey. That's what you're saying, he's right? Rapper, bro. He's a rapper. He cannot snitch. That is career suicide. Of course he's not going to go ahead and encrypt someone else. You he's a rapper, bro. Answer the other one. Because I, I have an answer for the other one. He because, can't do that. Oh, okay, like, that's why. 
He, okay, got yeah. it. Yeah, so yeah, That's fine. That's fine. Every rapper that gets caught uh, cooperating with the police or snitching or doing anything that might put someone else in jail, their career is ruined. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know if their career is ruined. They can still go on uh, DJ Academics' broadcast like Takashi does all the fucking time. Hey, you know man, what I mean? Gonna, gonna, the facts here. Are we going to try to make side? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this guy's not qualified to talk about the culture or anything like that, bro. Dude, your facts, bro, are non existent, bro. Like, like you're deflecting you're crazy. You're just deflecting. No, I'm crazy. not. I asked you a simple question, and nobody was able to answer this question. It. It's a super it. simple question. It's so oh, direct. Oh, Why did question. Kelsey text 911 Tory shot Megan if that's I, not the case? Oh, it's 3v1 yeah. now, by the way. Holy fuck. I, I'll answer that question, but I'm going to just assume that because you diverted, you basically like you, you bowed out of that. Other I mean, point. you can assume no, whatever no, you want to, but I'm just give me no, the answer. No, I just want to know. I'm, I'm like genuinely interested in your perspective. Now I'll answer that question, but I, but I really could just ask a question to, to answer, but I'll just answer myself. If I was the best friend of someone who just got in a drunken fight and I unfortunately shot at my best friend, okay, she got hurt. If I'm the closest person to her team, you think I'm going to text your team, hey, I shot Meg? Come on now. Would you text so, that? So in that situation, you think a text message is necessary, right? Like you're saying that the text message is necessary. She's belligerent enough to fucking grab a gun, shoot Megan the Stallion, but then also somehow has it all together. I guess like she, the adrenaline kicked in and all of a sudden she's just like remembered the consequences of her actions and decided to very cleverly and devilishly text this ruse even though Tory Lanes on Instagram comments has also said that Kelsey had not shot Megan the Stallion and it like so uh, clearly the the like no one has said Kelsey shot Megan the Stallion that has never even been brought up except for the blogosphere are we going to hold what what Tory said on Instagram which we don't even know if that's him controlling his page we're going to hold him liable for that, but we can't hold Meg liable for saying out of her own mouth a different story. Five well, I mean, it was used. It was Thank used, you. from what I understand, when an LAPD detective Warren Eberhardt took the stand to testify that Tory Lane's verified IG account once commented on a theory that Kelsey was a shooter saying that's not true. Okay, perfect. I'm glad you said that. Now, that sh this incident happened two years ago. They asked that same detective. When did you see that that message? Did you check the IP address of where it came from? Because you know, you could have an Instagram account and somebody could access it from Zimbabwe. Somebody could access it from Costa Rica. So you think you think a hacking happened? That's why Tory Lane or you think Tory Lane's is instant? Tor so Tory Lane's is interns are are fighting against Tory Lane's is what you're saying? Mid trial, mid trial when. Mo went live. Tory Lane's Instagram joined the live. You think Tory's in court joining live? He has no. PBS. I don't. But do you think okay, someone with know. access to He's Tory's? Why is someone with access to Tory Lane's Instagram account uh, defending? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> defending Here's Kelsey. I'm not saying you can't use that as some type of proof, but number one, you saw it a week ago before trial when you had two years to see it, right? Number two, you made no fucking effort to Bro. try to at least go out of your way to prove that he's the actual one that posted well, it to be fair i don't think they needed that because uh ultimately it wasn't kelsey that was on trial it was tory lane's on trial because again going back to the main thing the five yeah. points that the prosecution <laughs> laid out was pretty open and shut oftentimes cops not very good at their jobs okay oh, I can't, I can't no, talk not. about feds. I don't know how Myron was, but clearly he wasn't that good because no, now he's doing not. a fucking PUA podcast. However, however, okay? Rap, however, like, however, yeah, it, this, is, not, this is one of the instances where it literally does seem like they had a lot of fucking, a lot of evidence, right? Like, I mean, no, holy shit, they had the witness no, who survived. Petition more than you. Brother, you gotta run for office. Like the way you're able to duck Wait, out. What do of you shit, mean? There's five. There's brother, five points of evidence that are so conclusive. You, point, you move to another one, and then when we try to get you there, you flip to this. Bro, other thing. your counter was someone from Zimbabwe might have fucking controlled his account. The reason why they didn't even have to fucking find this is because they already had five points bro, of evidence bro, 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 that was bro, 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 so damning bro, 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 in a situation bro, 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 where it was wait, 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 Tory Lanez versus Megan The Stallion. Way to be stupid. You cover all type of shit, even if you're covering like the search warrants that was like executed in Mar a Lago. Come on, you know if you're gonna use someone's social media writings and presence, nigga, at least motherfucking execute a warrant. 
Instagram is going to show you exactly where it came from. They took a screenshot from the shade room. Is that what you want the fucking government to be putting people in jail well, for? That's ultimate, what I'm trying to say. They well, found a screenshot. Again, it's, the reason why they didn't conduct that level of investigation on that regard was because, again, it wasn't... There was no, like, Kelsey is the actual shooter theory. There was no evidence that Kelsey was the actual shooter. One of the most damning pieces of evidence was also Kelsey's own fucking that text message saying, 911, Tory shot Meg. If the police haven't done their due diligence and done their fucking job, you want us to consider some shit off Instagram? At least fucking run a warrant, okay? At <laughs> least get the information in a right format that the jury could have some validation to the shit you're presenting. You're presenting shit like a blog. Unfortunately, <laughs> academics has no, like, you know, I have no, the, 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 there's no, well, like, fucking, the, oh, you have to Academics, you understand, they didn't need to do that because it was, they you know. They it in court. Yeah, but they didn't. But you know that they didn't need to do that. You, you know what I mean? Like they didn't need to. You understand why I'm saying they didn't need to, right? But you're, you're actually relying on it to make your point. So if they didn't need to do it, why are you relying on it to make your point? Well, I'm, I'm bringing it up because I think that it's already in. There's already enough evidence, as I've shown time and time again, as to why I feel the way I do about the situation. I'm not even getting emotional right, about Hassan, this. Hassan, but Hassan, it seems like you are a little bit. Here's the thing. Right, let me take this, bro. Let me take this. Hassan, you have you <laughs> I like, I like the bottom of you. Attacks, which is fantastic. But you know what? Let's go over each piece of evidence and actually talk about each piece of evidence with facts versus you making jokes ad hominem attacks. Number one, the jail call. He never actually admits to shooting at Meg. He's just profusely apologizing. The text message. He, Kelsey says, oh, Tory shot Meg when they tried to bring in the witness to actually receive the text message so they can get some context. He didn't want to come in and testify. I wonder why. Also, the text messages between Meg and Tory. We don't necessarily know if he was apologizing for outing Meg the Stallion and her promiscuity in the past along with her friend, or if he was apologizing for Kelsey and Meg fist fighting because him start him giving that starting that conversation initiated the fist fight, or her getting shot. We don't know what he was apologizing for. Yeah, but it's you're making an inference. Kelsey, you're, you 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 I mean, are the one who's making an inference off of that though. What do you, I'm inference off of what exactly? Like you are using, you are using that, like you're, that in and of itself, apologies in and of itself, uh, depending on yeah. which state you're in, are not admissible as evidence in court because of the, the, because of the things that you just mentioned, right? Like from what I understand, I don't think they're admissible as evidence in court. I'm not using that as like evidence. I'm telling you that that in and of itself, when we're having a conversation between uh, normal human beings is kind of odd. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because it's a weird thing to say when there's a much larger situation at play, right? What I mean by that is this. If someone if someone is shot in your vicinity, oftentimes you would probably talk about that rather than apologize for like your own personal actions that are completely unrelated to that situation, no, right? That's what I was saying. Because if, if you were in that similar circumstance, you would probably bring up the shooting rather than, rather than fucking apologize for uh, you know, a, a minor argument that you had. Let me, let me finish my point. The reason why, okay, he apologized. There's so many different reasons he could be apologizing for. It could be for them getting in a fight. It could be for him revealing Meg's promiscuous past. It could be for uh, Kelsey hitting her or whatever it may be. Her getting shot. Uh, her, him. But if not someone is shot, the that's the main point of that's the main point of okay, contention. That's, that's the main point of consideration. Understand. That is the main point of consideration. Of course, though, you got to look at all the other underlying facts as to what he could be apologizing for. He could be apologizing for hitting on Kylie yeah, Jenner in front of her. But, yeah, that's why I said like common sense, right? Like that's why I said if someone was shot and it was completely outside is, of your control, you wouldn't say, "Oh man, I'm sorry that like uh, you know, uh, you know, things got out of hand." You'd say, "That's crazy that she shot you." He can't say that, Hassan, because think, he's a rapper and his ability, right, to sell records and oh, make music. Come is on, on. You, that, you, we're, we're making a lot of inferences that are that are bro, like it's common sense, bro. When any, how is that any, common sense, bro? What the fuck? If he's a rapper, why is he apologizing? That that also fucking uh, that also you know makes him look bad. Yo, that's crazy. That Kelsey shot you. I can cite about five other cases. I can cite five other cases where. A rapper who should have knew information about what actually happened, even if it happened to their own friend, just shut up. Most notably, also, Busta Rhymes, who, who his, his bodyguard, one of his best friends, got killed. 
the, the bodyguard's mom was crying in court. Hey, why don't you cooperate? Cooperate. He didn't say anything. That's just what yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, like, I know, I know. They're not. He's not snitching. But there's a difference between like saying it in court and saying it to the person that you're having a conversation with. If you're having a text message conversation at that time, when you think that like you have an ongoing relationship with that person, so much so that you're trying to fix it by apologizing to them, you would probably fucking you know still feel comfortable enough to be like, how crazy is it that they? How crazy is it that Kelsey shot you? Is what you would say. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen, you, keep, you keep neglecting the point I made. One of the conversations, right, is Tory incarcerated calling on a jail phone. Why would he say anyone's name? You think he's in YSL? No, he's not going to say anything. Hey, I'm sorry this has happened like that. No more details, no more, no little. Whether it was you or not, if you ask anybody from the urban hip-hop culture, they would probably say you shouldn't even make the call. Yeah. Whether you had a divorce or not. And also, Lasan, I know you don't know a culture like that in terms of like hip hop and the whole rap industry. Uh -huh. However, if he snitched in the very beginning, this would all be settled. <laughs> he didn't say anything because he knew his career is on the line. Now, regarding well, that his as well, career is still on the line because, you know, I mean, he, he didn't really yeah, have yeah. a career, let's be real. But, yes. you know, 2016 no, is the last time he was popping off. But Tori's a big, big ass artist. What, what, what are you talking about? He's huge. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know about that. As you might not listen to someone does not necessarily negate Wait, the Wait, can I ask something? Uh, your co-host, how, how old is he? How old do you think I am, bro? I have, have no idea. I, I have no idea, but like you said Lasan, so I assume like 14. <laughs> is, bro. That, is that your name, bro? <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> that... Bro, come on, dude. You are a whole grown ass man fucking using memes that 14 year old white boys use on the internet. That is fucking embarrassing. Not to like you dismiss know, everything about you, but god damn. You think that's a good first impression, dog? That is fucked up. Holy shit. You got a whole ass show for yourself, too? Whew. You're still wrong, bro. It's just hilarious, bro. The chat's laughing at you right now. Yeah, go back. Go back. Talk about how Chad is defending you. <laughs> Let's go back God to the facts. Damn, the thing, dude. Like, <laughs> phone calls, okay? He never overtly said, hey, sorry for shooting you. And there's a bunch of situations that he could have ap apologized for. So that's number one. So we don't know exactly what he was apologizing for. And keep in mind, Hassan, it is on the prosecution to prove that Tory is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. So that's ambiguous. It isn't clear. Then on top of that, we got gunshot residue, not only on Tory, but we have it on Kelsey as well. Not to mention that Kelsey and Meg Thee Stallion got in a full-on fledged fist fight prior to the shots going off. That is a fact that's been confirmed by Kelsey, and it got confirmed by Sean Kelly. Kelsey downplayed and said it was just a bump. However, they were 100% fist fighting to the point where a pendant yeah, was found. We on already talked about Sean Kelly's testimony being uh, uh, inconsistent. I think, I don't know if you were there for that, but like he, yes, but, did he wake up the gunshots or was he just like parked on the Fair fucking street, just watching the street for no reason Fair and enough. then happened to be a Kelsey scuffle there? also admitted they fought though. So that's what solidifies it. Kelsey also admits they, they fought. She downplayed and said it was just a bump, but the evidence shows otherwise. Your nail and everything. If someone just bumped you, your nail wouldn't fall off and your pendant. They were full on fist fighting. I mean, look, I don't know the, I don't know the exact details, you know? I mean, that's hey, look. The problem. You don't know the details and you're talking. That's the problem. <laughs> yo, yo, no. Uh, well, ultimately, I know what they discussed in the court case, and I know that there was enough evidence. Out of your wheelhouse here. You can say that all you want, but it doesn't seem like it, especially with this 3v1 situation. You guys still look really silly, ultimately. They might be what saying something different in your chat right now, but, you know, outside what of your hug box, I doubt that that is what's going on. What's now, having said that, said. having said, said that, it. how is this your wheelhouse? I do not know. I mean, you're a Fed, and you don't even fucking understand how the Fifth Amendment works, so maybe that's good that you're no longer a Fed, probably. Um, Here's the thing, bro. The Fifth Amendment only works if oh, we're back you... to this. There's a Supreme Court case, dog. What the fuck are you talking about? There's literally a... No. You need reasonable expectation that you can be culpable criminally to be able to assert the Fifth. Because oh. if that was the case, right? If that was the case, then everyone would just be like, oh, I'm just going to stay silent and no one would talk in court. Facts. Dude, I'm, I'm losing my mind. If if the Fifth Amendment worked in the way that... Dude, I know you have, like, cop brain, right? Because you're like a... You're, you're, you can't get out of the cop situation. But if the Fifth Amendment worked that way, it would literally imply that everyone who pleads the Fifth would be guilty. It would ruin the Fifth Amendment. Hassan, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Because I, I notice you do this a lot. 
like I, I you throw mad ad hominem attacks. Like I, I think he's getting straight at at, at least at least on mine, he's getting straight at. Okay, bro, I'm, it's three v one. I'm fucking. Lo- I'm I'm starting to lose it a little bit. I was respectful at the beginning, but goddamn, dude, holy wait, shit. Wait, I'm I'm a, a, also, I'm your fucking forty year old co host called me Lazan, like he's a fucking child. Come on, don't talk bro, to me about ad homs right now. Federal agent, bro. How old are you? Twelve, nigga. He's serving our country. You making fun of him? You're lame, bro. Get <laughs> up. So you making fun? Oh, Lazan, nigga, that's your fucking name. Oh, Lassan. dude. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for serving our country, sir. Thank you. I've actually right. You're right. I've witnesses. I've been in federal court several times. I've testified hundreds of times. I have. You still don't understand the Fifth Amendment? That's crazy to me. Like that is actually crazy. You don't understand the Fifth Amendment. Facts. You cannot randomly assert the Fifth Amendment unless you have reasonable expectation that those statements that you're about to give can incriminate you. It is the same exact reason why Gunna will not be able to use the Fifth Amendment. You keep bringing up Gunna. This is unrelated. You can literally plead the Fifth regardless. Okay? You can plead the Fifth regardless. It is is the law. Okay? It is... A right you that you have. It's not even the law. It's a right. It's a constitutionally protected right. You can be held in contempt of court. You could be, you can be, uh, you, there's issues that could arise from that if you don't actually, if there's well, no I gave reason. gave you the, oh my God. Views against you. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, 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 I know what you're trying to say, but you're wrong. And I've, I've, I told you that there is a Supreme Court case on this exact issue that you're talking about. It does. I also literally gave you the exact reason as to why it doesn't work that way. Because if it worked that way, then everyone would just assume you're guilty all the time, every single time you pled the fifth, which would literally destroy the Fifth Amendment in general. Hassan, that wasn't his point, and even when I said that wasn't my point, right? Is of course clean the Fifth Amendment. No, because right? because that's you're that's inferring that she is guilty, and you're also no, 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 adding no, 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 no. additional reasons as to why she might be guilty. You're speculating why she might be guilty, no, no, no. and saying that that's no, enough no, no, no. for 